Hello everybody and welcome to my little physics engine tutorial uh, where I'm going to show you how uh, we can create a custom 2D Richard Buddy physics engine using only HTML and JavaScript. I'm Marcel and I give you a little bit of an overview of what we are going to do in this tutorial series. Okay, our first goal is to draw anything on a canvas. I mean, because we need to see something, right? Um, yeah, and for this, we're gonna use, of course, um, JavaScript, HTML, as I said before. We are using um, the glasses approach in JavaScript. So if you want, you can port the code really, really easy to any other programming language uh, you like. Okay. Um, our next goal is um, collision detection and um, this one is again circles, so circles with circles. Also we're going to push them apart as you can see here, they're really cool. The next goal is, um, well, the same thing but with rectangles or polygons you can also rotate them and yeah push them apart so basically collision detection between circles and polygons then we have um, collision detection between circles and polygons also how we can push them apart and then we have um, a bouncing balls, um, well, demo, I guess, for example, in this goal, we are implementing how we can, um, use rigid bodies and already, already you can see here a small side effect or implementation. We're going to tackle that too. Then we have, um, linear impulses see here no rotation just add a force and the other body is bouncing the other direction also the same thing with the circle okay. our next goal is the actual physics so this is the first time we really see a physics engine in action um, this example is using rotational impulses and linear impulses. So the thing, the um, the things we saw in the previous uh, go, we are combining these here. Then we have rot uh, frictional impulses, as you can see on this rectangle and circles. The circles actually um, rotating because of the friction and they are not sliding anymore and yeah this rectangle is really really slow because of the friction yeah then we have some performance optimizations in this case bounding boxes so you can see there's all uh, there's only a collision between um, objects which intersect the boxes as uh, i mean box versus box um, then we have a small stress test with some um, objects one second there we go we have here yeah 30 fps on my machine this approach is only using bounding boxes for optimization not really, really uh, good, um, but this will change in our next goal, and this this is um, partial partitioning. This example, we have sixty FPFs with a lot of bodies. Of course, this also works with rectangles and uh, with the same amount. Then. 
uh, yeah, this ex uh, this uh, example is using normal partial partition in grids, and in the next goal we are using hash grids. There's a small difference between that. Yeah, it's a bit more performance. Uh, well, it's it's a bit more performance optimized. This example. Then something really cool. We are able to use our mouse to grab objects. Basically, I can grab the rectangle anywhere I want and yeah, throw it around. Okay, then we have something really nice, and that's it. And that's uh, the joints. This is, in this example, we have simple force joints, like an inverse spring, well, well, like a spring actually. Then we have, um, well, spring joints. This one has a fixed uh, distance. So basically, um, if the circle is more um, in the near of the other rectangle, um, the spring will push it apart. And if the circle is too far away, it's trying to push it uh, against my grabbing force, as you can see. Okay, then we have the reverse force joint. This is this one is really really easy. It just gives a force. If it's blue, then there's a force applied, and if it's yellow, there's no force. There, there's no force anymore. Then we have a fixed joint or kind of a fixed joint. This will look like this. It's a bit wobby. Yeah, this is our next joint. And then our last goal will be a combination of, of, of some things. Um, here we have hinge joints with a circle and another rectangle. And this object here is a kinematic object, so it's not gonna move. We're also implementing um, something for the collision, so no collision is done between this kinematic rectangle and this moving rectangle. And yeah, that's basically it for the tutorial series. Um, yeah, and I guess see you in the first episode. Have a nice day, and see you then.